introduction short because I went three minutes last time. Um, all right, my name is Keegan Gerardo. Right. Hazing, partying every night, uh, spending all our parents' money, um, drinking uncontrollably, and just kind of wasting our time through college. These are usually the general terms that people think about when they see um, someone in fraternity or sorority, or they see letters walking by in Greek life. Uh, uh, I'm in a fraternity. I joined my sophomore year, and myself, my freshman year, I did have these uh, same thoughts of people in fraternities. I definitely had that stereotype thought, and then I joined my sophomore year, and it complete, completely changed my mind, and that's what I'm here to inform you today. I'm not here to inform you to join Greek life at all. I just want to inform you of the positive aspects of it, and everything it can bring to a person internally and externally to a community. Uh, the purpose is to inform you about that, and I hope uh, at the end of this speech you have a better understanding of just kind of the positive aspects and what it can bring to someone's life. The three points I'm going to talk about are the skills learned while you're in fraternity. There's a lot of different things you can learn. Uh, the community service aspect, they, uh, Greeks all around the country make a giant impact. And the social aspect, because that's often the point where everyone uh, kind of abuses Greek life, and I want to show the positives um, out of that social aspect. So diving into uh, the skills learned, I feel like some of the skills really learned are leadership, commitment, um, presenting skills, confidence, commitment, and loyalty. Uh, and it's uh, from us, uh, ECU and Cornell universities. They both did. They all both did a study on Greek statistics, and out of the 50 uh, largest companies in the U.S., 43 of them are headed by fraternity men, and 85% of Fortune 500 executives belong to a fraternity, and the U.S. Uh, government conducted a survey where they found that 70% of Greek students will end up graduating from college, while 50% of non-Greek students will graduate from college. So when you think of a fraternity or sorority, you think that they're just here to have all this fun but they actually do care about academics, and this gives you kind of a sense of being in the university and being involved and in kind of that aspect to get you through it, and it's something that will get you through it. When I talked about leadership, you can hold multiple positions of leadership in your fraternity. It's kind of like a small organization, and when you hold like an exec role, you can kind of have that experience of leading multiple people and leading a small thing. Um, and presenting, if we think this is nervous, try presenting in a room of with 100 beautiful sorority girls did that last night. It's very difficult and really nerve-wracking. Um, but kind of transitioning from this, I feel like these are some of the skills that learn that can be translated into work life later on in life. I also want to touch on uh, the community service aspect, which is more community-oriented and not like really towards ourselves. Um, over seven, $7 million is raised by Greek organizations every year. And this was conducted uh, by that... Uh, that same article by ECU and Cornell. And this was a couple of years ago, so this number keeps increasing year by year. And Greeks are also big volunteers in the community. They volunteer over 10 million hours uh, every year to different efforts. Every fraternity or sorority or Greek organization, organization has a different um, philanthropy and different people that they serve. My fraternity is Pi Kappa Phi. And I'm going to give you an example of kind of how we do service. I am the Push America leader for my fraternity, so I'm in charge of all our philanthropic efforts and all this. Push America is our organization for, um, we serve people with disabilities and we raise awareness and money for this. Last week we held a 48 hour event on Hayden Mon, I don't know if any of you walked by it, but we had nine stationary bikes out there riding for 48 straight hours, and we were able to raise money and awareness for this. So it's like little events like this where we can give back to the community where I may have not had before if it hadn't been for Greek life. So community aspect is a huge part of Greek life that not many people know about. Um, only about half of people knew about the community service that um, Greeks participated in in my uh, audience analysis. I also want to talk about the social aspect. That gets abused a ton. Uh, people think it's just partying and you're drinking every single night. Uh, it's not that way for everyone. And you still do socials and date parties and formals and all that stuff, and that's great. You know, it brings you back to the high school days when you got someone to prom and all that good stuff. But that kind of gives you a comfort zone. You get to meet new people. You get to have diversity. You get to meet all different kinds of people. And that's something I've really enjoyed from my experience. Um, just the confidence you get when you're meeting all these different people. Like, it kind of prepares you for the real world when you're out of college and you're on your own and you have to meet new people because 
our networks are going to end after college, and you have to keep these friends throughout, and that can sometimes be very difficult. Um, the Ohio Northern University did an article about this, and it, it, the social aspect kind of gets forgotten. You know, I feel like that's where a lot of people grow, whether you're in a fraternity or not. You all hang out with friends, you all go to parties, you all go out on the mill, and I feel like that can really help you grow as a person and that type of stuff. Um, my personal example in high school, I was already always very shy and kind of reserved, and this is kind of really brought me out of my shell. So now that I've told you my three points of the skills learned, um, community service, and the social aspect, I feel like these are the three kind of main points to kind of show that not all Greek life is bad. And I guess what I want you all to remember is next time someone's walking by in Greek letters, don't necessarily put that stereotypical Greek life judgment on them. There are good people out in Greek life, and there are good things that we do, and it's not a... Uh, I just don't want that stereotype to be seen because I know I had it and I know many of you.